हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम अरमोगान एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इरा की दिन आर यूट्यूब चैनल होपफुली यू ऑल डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू अ लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इरा की दिन आर सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे द इनफॉरमेशन आर देयर अदर स्टेट्स बिसाइड्स मिशिगन इन्वॉल्व्ड इन एक्सचेंजिंग करेंसीज There are many states though I'm unsure about Alaska but let's consider all 48 contiguous states. Numerous countries around the world have private banks. The Central Bank of Iraq, also known as the CBI, needs to collect the 30 notes to manage currency inflation effectively. Now regarding Pimpy, can someone clarify his stance on the RV? As Pimpy, I can answer that. Yes, I believe the Iraqi dinar can revalue. I'm involved because I think the Iraqi dinar will revalue. In fact, my contact in Iraq, who works in a government position, mentioned they have a new rate and will activate it soon. This information comes directly from Iraq. The electronic age will allow efficient spending for the operational and investment sides of the budget. My concern is with the investment portion as it will likely affect the real effective exchange rate. The government has completed the sale of financial bonds, securing monetary reform with reserves backing the currency. The CBI and K emphasize that the strong exchange rate of 1320 is maintained by these reserves allowing them to control and adjust the rate as needed. This strength is backed by the billions of dinar they possess. What you're seeing right now with the alignment of various significant events points unmistakably towards an imminent announcement of a new exchange rate for the Iraqi dinar. The untapped and tapped resources of Iraq such as gold, phosphate, oil and diamonds each have the potential to support monetary reform independently. When the hydrocarbon law or HCL is implemented, a new exchange rate will quickly follow. For the Iraqi citizen community, here's a crucial piece of advice. When wealthy individuals start making initial profits, the first professionals they typically hire are a financial advisor and a tax specialist. However, this isn't the most effective initial step. Instead, you should construct a financial fortress by setting up an asset protection plan. Lawsuits, taxes, and probate can significantly deplete your wealth. Therefore, the first professional you should hire is an asset protection specialist, which is a rare expertise. Only about 1% of all attorneys specialize in this field. Following the revaluation, these specialists will be in high demand for months. Your asset protection specialist will collaborate with the appropriate CPAs to maintain your wealth protection structure. It's important to note that the average CPA is not equipped to handle complex filings, such as those for a charitable remainder unit trust report for the IRS. Avoid financial advisors who promote imprudent investments like municipal bonds, IRAs, 401k's, mutual funds and other paper-based assets. Certified investors have access to high-yield investments that are typically unavailable to the general public, and these investments can pave the way to multi-generational wealth. I'm expecting a lot of news throughout the week. and i anticipate we will have an extremely busy 4 to 7 days currently numerous groups have expectations for around the 12th everything seems to be aligning and i'm hopeful this is our week i have high anticipation for this week july 18th is looking promising as iraq is scheduled to meet with the world trade organization during this meeting reforms and requests will be handed over by the wto to iraq Iraq will also deliver additional materials requested from the previous meeting and ask questions to ensure their accession into the WTO proceeds smoothly. Regarding the exchange rate, it will not be discussed there as it is not the WTO's responsibility. K has been vocal about the exchange rate, inflation and reserves. His positive tone has been well received as this is his fourth update. 
The reason for the optimism is the progress made over the past year and a half since al-Sudani took office. The changes have been substantial and significant, which should have everyone feeling optimistic, as I see it as a light at the end of the tunnel.